Hello everyone and welcome! My name is Jeff and today we are going to have some fun playing Magic. And the fun thing that we're trying to do today is we are playing Priest of the Desecrated Tomb. Uh, playing Priest of the Forgotten Gods and our Desecrated Tomb and just a bunch of cards that support that combo. Uh, and so you can tap this to sacrifice two other creatures. Any number of target players each lose two life and sacrifice a creature. You add two mana and draw cards. First off, this is amazing in Roundtable. It's a super fun card. Uh, you able, you're able to deal damage, sacrifice a creature gain some mana and draw a card like it does everything you could ever want with a black card like so good you do have to sacrifice two other creatures to make it happen which is an issue but at the same time we can take advantage of that here so first off resembling skeleton can come back from our graveyard onto the battlefield tap so uh gutter bones can come back from the graveyard into our hand um and we also just have a lot of creatures that, that create multiple things we have rekindling phoenix that even if it dies um, at the beginning of our upkeep it will come back from the graveyard <laughs> to replace the token that's there and so that's what we're trying to do here with desecrated tomb so desecrated tomb says whenever one or more creature cards leave your graveyard create a 1-1 one, one black bat creature token with flying. Well first off we're creating lots of bats which are also good fodder for our priests of forgotten gods to be sacrificing uh, and we just kind of create some really fun uh, loops going on here. We also have graveyard marshal if ever we do uh, lose some of the creatures that can't come back as easily like our goblin instigator raven shoe cabra our priest of the forgotten gods dies then uh graveyard marshal can just create a bunch of uh, black zombies um with hopefully one or two desecrated tombs out creating a couple uh bats as we're going along and then we just have some good removal here in the deck as well so we have the devil which uh, hits artifact creatures or planeswalker which is amazing uh priest of the forgotten gods which is a really good removal spell in itself being able to sacrifice a creature each turn and then the Eldest Reborn. Uh, and so this is the deck. Our biggest issue with this deck is just making sure that we keep Priest of the Forgotten Gods alive. Like, I don't really have a game plan around that. Um, the game plan is to just have enough value on the board with everything else we're playing that it's okay if it dies. But we're hoping to get at least one or two uh, triggers out of it if we can throughout the game. So let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. Wish me luck. And here we go. Before we jump into the gameplay, a quick thanks to Fusion Gaming for sponsoring this video. Be sure to head over to FusionGamingOnline.com for all your Magic the Gathering needs. Check the link in the description below. Alright, up against Mad Mouse Trip, uh, and we are playing Desecrated Priest. And this is an excellent start. Fantastic start, actually. Um, yep. Love having Desecrated Tomb early in this. Um, it just adds so much value for everything else. Hello. Bad mouse. All right, they opt, and we're gonna do something super fancy called Memorial to Folly. I think even if we get a uh, gutter bones here, we're probably going to anyway. Yeah. So Memorial to Folly, pass the turn. All right. Uh, let's see if they have. All right, they don't make us discard, which is good. Um, resembling skeleton will. Maybe we should have played graveyard marshal just to try to get a. Uh something to counter. Alright, Merfolk Trickster taps it down. That's fine. So this is like a version of Mono Blue with some black in here as well. Interesting. Yep, that's good. It's not bad what they're doing here. Draws a card. Island and... So they do have a wizard now. All right, so chart a course. All right, well, we're going to try to get down Desecrated Tomb while we can. Um, I think that the value that this provides actually can help us win the game. So no attacks. Uh, we'll see if they can tap down our skeleton, but we're totally fine blocking here. Our Phoenix actually does pretty well against this deck as well. Maybe. All right, another Curious Recession. Oh, all right. Yeah, they've got everything. Everything. Alright, we're looking for another two drop, I believe, here. Miss Cloak Herald. Oh, we can't play both of these now. Alright, well, Swamp, Graveyard Marshal. And no attacks. They have to tap down two things now, but I mean, if they get it this turn as well, then I think it's just game. All right, they swing in with everything. I'm guessing it's a dive down, so we're going to block here. 
and take three. All right, resolve the charter course. Resembling skeleton, get a bat. So now we have some blockers. The devil is pretty awesome. All right, so swamp. Let's go for a graveyard marshal first. Let's see if they counter it. So then we can bedevil. All right, wizard retort and bedevil you. Please don't. Oh, they might have the dive down. Oh, spell pierce. All right, well, we tried. <laughs> we tried. Ugh. All right, no attacks. Gotta have as many blocks as we can for this Merfolk Trickster. We might go ahead and try to kill this Trickster, though. So, we'll block... Let's see here. Yeah, we'll just block and block. Killing this one could have made the Eldest Reborn a little bit better, but I don't think it was going to make much of a difference yet. We might just have to use it to get another... That's not bad. I mean, really, what will this do for us? Being able to play a resembling skeleton has a lot better chance of actually helping us win this game. So Goblin Instigator. Get more counters out of their hand. Yep, resolve. And... Pass the turn. We gotta wait until they go to attack already so that they have less chance of being able to tap down our bat here. That's two damage each turn though now after this that we can't really block. That's gonna be frustrating. Alright, well, let's kill this this time. Block here. Ritual of Soot would be amazing to draw into. Graveyard Marshal would have been nice, but oh, we didn't. We weren't able to block with that. Didn't untap yet. All right, we're gonna try for Eldest Reborn. Destroy one of these guys. No attacks. Um, and they don't seem to have counters now. Or they didn't, at least. All right, block. down to seven. Yep, discard a card. Goblin Instigator. Create some more blockers. Wizard's Retort. Man, they have had so many retorts. And we do not have another red mana. We have, um, I think it's 12 sources of red mana in here. 11, actually. Alright, well, they're going to end up winning just with these uh Miscloak Heralds, but we're, we've at least been able to stop them from drawing cards. Uh, Ritual of Soot. Ritual of Soot. Well, it's not bad. So my graveyard, let's go for... Let's see... Yeah, let's go for my graveyard. Grab graveyard marshal. I think it's just better here. So let's try for goblin instigator first. Create some guys and priest of the forgotten gods. No attacks. And uh, as long as they don't find any flyers, we actually still have a shot. They're going to keep swinging in though. Uh, this time we will kill this guy. So block here um, and here. See if they have the dive down. All right, down to four. And if we can keep Priests of Forgotten Gods, we actually have a shot. Yeah, we need to draw here um, more than we... Actually, let's cancel. Let's, let's go ahead and attack with the two that we're going to kill anyway. Uh, so you and you attack. Down to 16. Yes. Target you. 
Submit. Kill these two. Submit. Draw a card. Get some extra mana. Kills one of their guys. Um, and yeah, let's try for Bedevil. Or actually, we can hold on to that, can't we? So yeah, let's just... Uh, resembling Skeleton. And... We'll go ahead and Resembling Skeleton now. They could have a Spell Pierce, actually, so I maybe should have held on to that till later, but... And the turn. And we actually might be able to come back for this somehow. Alright, so swing in. Do we have to kill this? We can take one more point of damage, so... Unless they give it a pump or something, we're okay taking one more. Because Priest of Forgotten Gods will help us out anyway. Alright. Pass to my turn. Now, do we kill it now? Yeah, I'll pass to my turn. Um, so next, swing in with our resembling skeletons. Reassembling skeletons. We could swing in with more, possibly. You know, actually, we can swing in for four here. We need to speed up a clock a little bit. All right, down to ten. Use Priest. Target you. Submit. Target these two. Submit. Okay, Merfolk Trickster. Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't actually stop the ability. The, the triggers already happen, so it doesn't stop anything. But they have another person to play now. Um, so now, let's Bedevil. Yeah, we do need to kill it now, so Bedevil. And Priest of the Forgotten Gods. And pass the turn. And yes, we got it. Whoo, man. Oh my gosh, that was that was close. I thought we we lost that for sure, but uh <laughs> Tech pulled it out there. Whoo, man. All right, up against uh, Tequila Ray, and we are playing our Desecrated Priest deck. And I like this. I like this a lot. We'll keep this. I mean, it's not amazing. We don't have a ton of our better stuff, but we have good mid-range things. We have a combo piece, and we can at least um, clog up the board. So, like, it's, it's a good deck, good hand for that reason. All right, Lava Runner. Alright, Goblin Instigator. This will actually, in order for them to get Lava Runner in, they have to do more damage to our uh, to our creatures than to our face. And we need to draw into land. Eldritch Borns are kind of slow against Mono Red. What they could do is they could swing in and then maybe shock one of these guys after we double block to, uh, to do it. So if he swings in, I don't know, we, we probably still do it, though, just to kind of fill our board, our graveyard with stuff for Desecrated Tomb. All right, so we're going to go ahead and block still. They might have a Shock or a uh, Wizard's Lightning for one of these guys, but still it just it stops more damage from coming towards our face for the next while. Yeah, Shock's one of them. Kills our guy. Land is good. All right, so Desecrated Tomb... And pass the turn. Alright, well, I, I like that we've at least made it to turn 3 without taking damage against Mono Red. Like, that is pretty good. Um, and now we just need to start playing good stuff. And hope they don't have just a ton of burn hand. Yeah, ping in. We'll see if they have land. So no land actually is really good for us there, too. Alright, Swamp. Rekindling Phoenix. So the best thing about Rekindling Phoenix is that if it does die and they can't kill the token, 
Um, so it actually goes to the graveyard and it returns it from the graveyard to the battlefield so we can get another uh, bat out of it as well. Uh, so pretty fun uh, with this. The, the biggest issue is most people try not to kill Rekindling Phoenix unless they know for sure they can get the, the token back as well. But it's another thing that we can sacrifice with Priest of, or, yeah, Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Alright, so they... They hit it. They might just swing in now. Yep, no blocks. Uh, please don't have a shock. Maybe skewer the critic now, because they've done damage to us. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Graveyard Marshal's not terrible. Actually, that's actually pretty good. Um, let's Eldest Reborn, though. Yeah, I think I'd rather Eldest Reborn. I actually want to get back the Rekindling Phoenix. Uh, the biggest issue is just how much damage they can do on this next turn. We we have to be careful with that. But as long as they're not drawing lands, I'm not as worried. Hopefully they just have like a bunch of experimental frenzies and stuff that they can't play at all. Alright, down to 11. Swings in for 2, down to 9. Uh, opponent discards a card. Risk factor. Uh, so Graveyard Marshal does create more blockers for us. Um... If we can avoid taking damage from creatures, then we're in pretty good shape. So Graveyard Marshal. And pass the turn. I'm hoping that they decide to go ahead and swing all in anyway. We can we can trade off our Graveyard Marshal. Still get it back here with... Uh, which we, we really wouldn't, but... We can still get enough value. So let's see if they swing in. Alright, they swing in. We will exile... A guy. Get a bat token. And a tapped zombie. I wish these weren't tapped, but uh, it still works. And we can kill this one. Do we want to take the two damage and just be able to kill it with some of our stuff? Because, like, it kind of works better for our things that way. All right. They do shock lightning strike here. All right. So we just kill Pyromancer and then we Eldest Reborn. Um, my graveyard, we want the Rekindling Phoenix. Yep. Yep, not bad. Let's go ahead and Eldritch Reborn again. Sacrifice your fella. And now we swing in. Alright, and now we have to race. This is the biggest issue. Is we've, we got down to 7 against Burn before we actually started uh, having a chance here. Um, this is where we probably ought to have some sort of life gain in our deck. So the actual the card that I wanted to have in here as well is the Vengeant Vampire that is one of the the other ones. It, when it dies, it's a four four with life link. When it dies, it uh it gains you um it gains you four life and it kills a creature. So that would be an amazing card for this. Uh, but being able to discard their hand has been pretty good as well. Did they uh, light up the stage? Okay, so they have a shock. So we're actually not dead. For whatever that's worth. All right, gutter bones comes in tapped. Oh man, if they have a hasty creature, um, we can still cast down anything that will come in hastily. Uh, pyromancer or just skewer the critics is the worst things for us. So. Yeah, pass the turn. Are they going to shock or try to risk factor to find more stuff for the next turn? We can do how much damage next turn? Eight, nine. So they do shock. Do they have a skewer the critics? Or a pyromancer? Alright, they lava coil. We actually are going to cast down now. So we create a token. Yep, get back Rekindling Phoenix. Create a bat. Create a, get another Rekindling Phoenix. Uh, all right, so how much damage do we have? Um, oh, not enough to kill him. We have five, eight. Oh, we're going to be one point short, aren't we? Um, I want to go ahead and grab the Pyromancer them it's not enough but 
We're gonna try for it. So swing in. Actually, wait. It's exactly enough. That's right. Okay, I, I was miscounting one of these guys. Uh, so <laughs> that actually worked out really well. <laughs> oh man, even without my math skills, uh, it worked out. Whew. All right, we're up against Refractor. Bring it on, Mr. Riff. And uh, not bad. Memorial to Folly is kind of funky with this, but we can play it on turn three. So we're gonna keep this. We're on the we're on the draw. We have a lot of pieces that we want. Pretty much everything in this deck we want. The only thing we don't want a lot of is like we only ever want to draw into two desecrated tombs in a game. Three is okay as long as like we can go longer. So like in the late late game, because then you can just fill the board pretty <laughs> with a lot of bats. But um. But yeah, I, I so that's the only card we don't want to see a lot of necessarily, or like a full hand of uh, Elvish Reborns early on. All right, well, let's see if they try to ping this Gutter Bones. We'll go ahead and give it as an option. Yep, so they do kill Gutter Bones right away. That's fine. A Lava Runner. Dragon Skull Summit, Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Pass the turn. And, uh, Risk Factor. Take action. We'll take the four damage. That's fine. We're down to three cards, and this is where we start doing good things. Um, well, we're not going to be able to swing in here, so we'll just Memorial to Folly and pass the turn. Uh, this Dragon School Summit's pretty good. Killing their things is actually very important, too. Take action. I mean, we are down to 11 now, which is a problem. No blocks. Alright, Dragon School Summit. Do we go Rekindling Phoenix or Ravenous Chupacabra? Let's go... Let's go Chupacabra. I mean, actually, Rekindling Phoenix probably would have been better because we could race a little bit more. And we can play Chupacabra on the next turn to kill it if they didn't already. But it does turn off Wizard's Lightnings. Um, and so that is important. All right, Experimental Frenzy. All right, so Risk Factors can still be played. Uh, but nothing... All right, so they kill Priest. Now we definitely just go for speed. For damage. All right, I'll attack. One attacker. Down to 17. Now they have five mana here. How much do they kill us? Let's hope it's not a lot. We could just be dead. Like if they if they draw like shock, skewer, skewer. All right, pyromancer, skewer, skewer, and wizard's lightning. All right, Steamkin, we can deal with that. We can deal with this. All right, so chupacabra. Kill Steamkin. Um, and we actually swing in with all here. Uh, they could have a shock to kill this, but... Mm, maybe we actually don't want to do that. Yeah, we, we wanted them to trade off right away. Okay. Down to 13. And we are racing away... Uh, we do have to have three turns now where that would have been better. I don't know. And we're just hoping they just draw lands. They can risk factor to draw whatever's on on top. Uh, is this Banefire? Okay, Goblin Chain Warrior. Ooh, man. Land would have been great there. Uh, oh, man. Do we want to put more damage on the battlefield? Uh, let's go ahead and Ravenous Chupacabra. Let's get sent for six this turn. All right, I'll attack. Well, <laughs> I I really don't think we have a shot here, but uh, we're we're getting close. They could just draw everything terrible. They've actually been drawing well so far, so. So let's see if they risk factor here. All right, risk factor. Decline. All right, so this means that they can't kill us this turn, which means they, they lose. 
So we swing all in. So all attack. Good game. Yes! <laughs> okay. Yep, yep, yep. That worked out well. Very, very well. Whew. Man, those mono red games. I really didn't think we'd do well against mono red, but uh, I guess we can win. All right, so there you guys have it with Priest of the the Desecrated Two, <laughs> and um, super fun deck. Um, I think that it can be improved here and there for a couple things, based off your meta as well. Sideboard can actually uh, help out a lot. Um, bring in some Vross's Contempts. Um, I initially had a few more mountains in here, and I went down because I absolutely wanted to make sure I had two black mana for the early games for everything. Uh, but you can probably go up one more to make sure that we can hit Rekindling Phoenix a little bit easier. Maybe even replace Phoenix for some other stuff. But it's just, it's a good, um, like, if your priest plan and Desperate Tune don't, like, if that doesn't work out quite as well as you want, it's still a great way to finish a game. It's same with Eldest Reborn. It's, you kind of have to have these two in here to make sure that you can kind of win without everything else. Uh, but the deck is super fun, and so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much, and bye-bye.